in a great area outside the capital of Japan. A, uh, a boy came up to me. He was holding a little paper. He approached me. He said, You have a big boy. He said, No, no, no. He said, No, no. He was pointing to newspaper by picture on it. He said, Ako na, sa gobernador na ina, sa, oh, piyate. Bakit ako ngayon din eh? Good thing, I have my ID. May kami sa kapitulo, we have ID. So I show it to him. And he goes, yeah, gobernador na ina. So I think the lesson we're there is, it's always good to have an ID with you always. My former boss in the Cebu City Council, the Honorable Michael Brown, Mayor of Cebu City, President Tess Chan, past presidents of Cebu City of Commerce, business leaders, there are leaders and there must be followers. Business followers, uh, guests, friends, my Gabi, Karatitana. Uh, thank you very much for inviting me to uh, tonight's event. I am truly a deeply honored. Most especially because of a truly loyal purpose. Nobel Prize awardee Albert Schweitzer once said, and I quote, at times our own light goes out and is rekindled by a spark from others. Each of us has a reason to be grateful to those who have lighted the flame within us." Unquote. In this day and age of increasing focus on health and well-being, more recent authors claim that gratitude is a forgotten factor in leadership practice. Thus, gratitude is a quality we can all take on. Its force elevates corporations to link with humanity thus strengthening relationships that are very instrumental to corporate success. On a personal level, expressing gratitude brings us many benefits. The Greater Good Foundation, an organization advancing the science of gratitude, reports that those who adopt a grateful orientation develop a stronger immune system, lower their blood pressure, have higher levels of positive emotions, are more generous and compassionate, and experience more joy, optimism, and happiness. I'm happy that the Cebu Chamber of Commerce and Industry undertook this search for individuals and organizations whose contributions propelled Cebu's economy, growth, and development. We are grateful to this creative group of humanity for their energizing faith in the Cebuanos and their inspiring commitment to Cebu. Silent gratitude is not much news to anyone. Therefore, it is inspiring to see in the audience the awardees in the industry, peers, present and past officers of business chambers, members of the consular corps of Cebu, who have as well promoted Cebu in their own initiatives through trade missions and trade fairs in their countries. Heads of national government agencies and local chief executives and other guests, your presence tonight affirms the nobleness and sincerity of our tribute. So to whom do we pay tribute this evening? Long time local investors, the Wojtis Group and the Ayala Group, an international agency funding development projects, Chaika, for Japan International Cooperating Agency. Three manufacturing firms, Fairchild Semiconductors Philippines, Cebu Mitsumi Incorporated, and Timex Philippines. An NGO in the hospitality industry, hotel, resort, and restaurant association and school. A shipbuilding company, Tunisian Heavy Industries. A shipowners association, Norwegian Shipowners Association, and a German businessman. Henry Schumacher, the uh, brother of uh, <laughs> Formula One driver. To all our awardees, thank you very much.
from the bottom of our hearts. Yes, friends, let's give all our awardees tonight a big and robust applause.